Look kids, let's learn Homeroom Guidance Quarter 3, Module 7, More Talent, More Fun! Our learning objectives at the end of this module, you are expected to First, identify your skills, talents, and interests helpful to attain your academic goal. Second, list down different ways in accomplishing assigned tasks. And third, demonstrate how skills, talents, and interests help in learning. This module is good for third quarter, week one, until week two. Suggested total time allotment is 120 minutes. The materials that we will need are the following. Clean sheets of paper. It means bent paper, colored paper, or any paper that can be used for our artwork. Second, pencil. And then, crayon. Lastly, any kind of paper that can be used as bookmarks. So it could be this one, our folder. It could be used folder or any folder that you could use as bookmark later. Introduction. As a child like you, it is good that at this time, you are starting to know what your skills, talents, and interests are. And it is also good if you use them to help you achieve your academic goals. For example, you are good at drawing. That skill can help you perform better or do good performance outputs as you express whatever you think and feel through your drawings. In addition, you can explore different ways in accomplishing your tasks, just like what you will do in this module. Do not be afraid to experiment or fail. Even if sometimes it happens, you can still learn from it and try to do better next time. With the help of significant adults at home, you can become more confident in demonstrating your skills and later on appreciate how it helps you learn. Now, let's try this. Suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. In a clean sheet of paper, describe what you see in the pictures that I will show after this slide. And then, after describing all these pictures, you need to answer the processing questions. So these are the pictures that you should describe. Describe what is the boy doing in our picture number one. You write your description here in the bottom of the picture. This is our second picture. What is he doing? Describe what the picture is all about and write it under the picture. Same as our third picture. What is this picture all about? Describe the picture and write your description here at the bottom of the picture. We have eight pictures. We have this one, our fourth picture. Write your description under each picture. This is our sixth picture, our seventh picture, and we also have our last two pictures. So, kindly write below the picture what could you describe on the pictures. And then, after doing that, we are going to answer the processing questions. So our first processing question is, what rules or practices you like doing the most? So you are going to write your answer below our first question. Later, I will show you an example on how to do this activity. Second question, are there rules that you do at home, school, and community that are the same? What are those? So this time, 
you are going to think of an activity that you do at home, at school, and at community. Example, you are sweeping the floor. So at home, you do the sweeping. But at school, you are also sweeping the floor as well as the community that you are surrounded. So it means the rule that you are doing at home and school and community is sweeping the floor. Now, it's your time to think of another rule that you do at home, school, and community. You write it under our second question. So here is our example. So, this is what you are going to do. In a clean sheet of paper, this is our front page. You are going to write your name, your grade in section, and then you write the title of our subject. So today, we are discussing homeroom guidance. So you are going to write here, homeroom guidance. And then, you are going to draw the following pictures. Or, you could print it out and then paste it on a bent paper. And then, try to write on the blank lines, what could you describe on the picture? So, each picture has a different activity. So, you are going to describe what are the person doing in each picture. After doing all of these eight pictures, after describing all the eight pictures, you are going to write the processing questions at the back of the pen paper. And then, you are going to copy and answer the questions. So, you need to write the back of the pen paper, the questions, and then follow it by your answer after each question. So, the first question, what rules or practices you like doing the most? Second, are the rules that you do at home, school, and community that are the same? What are those? So you write your answer on the space provided. Now, we are done at our first activity, but we still have plenty of activities to do for our homeroom guidance. So let's try to explore this. For this activity, suggested time allotment is 15 minutes. What are we going to do in this activity? We will have a crossword puzzle. But before answering the crossword puzzle, you should copy the crossword puzzle on a clean sheet of paper. And then, fill in the correct letters that will complete the word being described below. So you need to copy this one. You need to copy the questions or the hint on what to answer in our crossword puzzle. So for number one, it is something that you want to do. What is the word behind it that will fit to the hint? Something that you want to do. It is interest. Very good. Now, let's try to check our crossword puzzle. So for number one, our answer should be interest. So this is our question number one. It is something that you want to do and it is interest. Now, how do we spell interest? As you can see, there are letters that are already given. Your task is to complete the missing letter. So you need to write what are those missing letters so that we can come up with a right word. Let's proceed to our second question. Something that you do with voice and sound. So if you have a good voice and if you hear a sound and you want to do sing. Yes, very good. Voice plus sound, it means we will use our talent in singing. So for number four, we will answer C. So let's try to find where is number four. So this is number one. This is our number four. So how do we spell sing? Right? The missing letter 
to complete the word sing. Okay, let's proceed to our number five. Something that you do with the sound and movements. So it's about very good dance. So how do we dance? So you need to answer our crossword puzzle. So for our next three questions, your natural gift. Your natural gift is called very good talent. A talent is something that you own that you don't need to learn. It is something that you learn by yourself. Nobody teaches you. And just like singing. You can sing even if your mother doesn't teach you how to sing. It's because you acquired it by yourself. It's a natural gift to you. Third, you will develop if you learn something new. How do we analyze the word that is being asked in our question number three? It is called very good skill. So let's try to check our question number three. It is skills. Okay, so how do we spell skills? You are going to fill out our crossword puzzle and then for our number two i already said it's talent your natural gift how do we spell talent we need to fill out the missing letters and for our last number something that you do with pencil and crayon so you are very good you are drawing so how do we spell draw write your answer on this blanks provided or on the box provided and after doing that you are going to answer the processing questions you need to answer the first question until the last question so our first question was it easy for you to get the words being described? Was it easy for you to solve the crossword puzzle just like that? And you need to answer yes or no. If you answer yes, you tell why is it easy for you. And if you answer no, you also give a little reason why is it not easy for you. Second question is, what did you do to accomplish the task? Did you ask help from your parents? You write your answer after the question. Number three, why is it important to know the difference between skills, talents, and interests? Okay, so before answering this question, let me share you the difference between skills, talents, and interests. Skills are something that is taught or learned. Example, at school, kids doesn't know yet how to read and the teacher will teach them how to read. So, once the kid is learning to read, it means he has the skill in reading. So, skills are something that is taught and then you learn from it. Talents is your natural gift. Something that you already know even if nobody teaches you how to do it. Just like singing. You can sing no matter if nobody teaches you how to sing. Interest. Interests are something that you want to do. Just like if you want to play basketball. You are interested to play basketball, so you do play the basketball. Or you are interested to read a book, so your interest is about reading. Okay, so now that I have shared what are the difference between skills, talents, and interests, you are going to try to answer our question number three. Why is it important to know the difference between skills, talents, and interests? Okay, so this is our example output. 
So, in a clean sheet of paper, you write your name, your grade and section, and then you write homeroom guidance. And then, as what I've told you, you need to write, copy and answer, our crossword puzzle. So, you need to write the following hints. These are the hints that you will be able to answer our crossword puzzle. So, you need to write it. So, you don't need to keep on browsing the video that teacher John is making. And you can easily answer it while you already write it on your clean sheet of paper. Next, once you're done answering our crossword puzzle, you need to answer our processing question. So, on the back of the given paper, you need to write the processing question. So, this is our processing questions. Was it easy for you to get the words being described? Next, what did you do to accomplish the task? Did you ask help from your parents? If you do, write your answer here on the space provided. And then, number three, why is it important to know the difference between skills, talents, and interests? So you can write it based on your own idea. Okay, we already have our second output. Now, let's keep in mind. What do we need to keep in mind? We need to read and think. Try to apply lessons learned in your daily life. They say that every person is unique. The reason why we are unique is because we differ in skills, talents, and interests. It is more fun to learn new things for us to easily accomplish our daily tasks. The advantages of recognizing your own skills, talents, and interests are as follows. First, it helps you maintain your self-confidence. Second, it helps you to be motivated to work on your school tasks that you do at home because of quarantine. Third, it helps you get to know yourself better. Fourth, it makes you healthy physically and mentally. And lastly, it helps you achieve academic success. Okay, so now you can do it. Such as the time allotment is 20 minutes. We will be working with our bookmark. Before doing the bookmark, let's try to figure out what is a bookmark. A bookmark is used to mark one page of a book. Using any kind of paper, we will create three bookmarks. For our first bookmark, we should write our talent. For the second bookmark, we will write our skill. And in the third bookmark, we will write our interest. Why is it important to write all of these things? Because it is important that you keep in mind what are your talents, skills, and interests? Because this will serve as your reminder that you can attain academic success as a learner even at the middle of crisis. A sample picture is provided for you, for you to follow. Then, answer the processing question in another clean sheet of paper. So, this is our bookmark so we have three bookmarks the first bookmark we write here our talent so i am a singer so your talent is singing next bookmark we will write our skill i can read books so your skill is reading third I like to play basketball. So this is about your interest. After working with your bookmark, you paste it on a even paper. And then, after pasting it, let's try to answer the processing question. So, this is what you will do. Let's say this is the even paper. And then, 
on the bit paper, you write your name, your grade and section, and then you write homeroom guidance. Once you're done working with your bookmark, you paste it on the band paper. You don't need to glue it fully. You just need to use a small sketch tape so it will stay on the band paper. And once the teacher is done checking it, you can use the bookmark that you submitted. And then, at the bottom of our band paper, you need to answer the processing question. So, what will you do to improve your skills, talents, and interests? Do you need to practice your skills? Do you need to practice your talents? Do you need to improve your interests? How will you do it? You write your answer on the space provided. And lastly, how did this help you learn at home and in school? So how did your skills your talents and interests help you learn more either at home or in school. So this is our third output. Now what I have learned. Such as the time allotment is 20 minutes. Now that you are familiar with your skills, talents, and interests, share it with one of your household members. Then, in a clean sheet of paper, write down the things that you do to accomplish this task. Example, I sang a song to my mother. So since you already know your skills or your talents and interests, you choose which one of your household members you want to share your skills, talents, and interests. So it could be your mother, your father, your siblings, or your relatives. And then, once you're done sharing your talents, skills, and interests in a clean sheet of paper, write down the things that you do to accomplish this task. So, did it told you to sing? You write it on the clean sheet of paper. Did it told you to show your interests, your talents, and skills? You write it on the clean sheet of paper. And then, we still have one more thing to do. So, we need to share our thoughts and feelings. So, this is good for 20 minutes also. What do you need to do? Copy this train in a clean sheet of paper. Write down your thoughts and feelings about improving your skills, talents, and interests for each compartment. Color the train and make best design. So this is the train, and as you can see, in each train, there is a compartment, or this is somewhat like a cube or a box. In each space, you write everything that you want to say about improving your skills, talents, and interests. So you need to write in this first compartment, second compartment, third compartment, and the fourth compartment. So as you can see, there is a writing hand here. So you write your answer in this white space. And then, once you're done writing your answer, you color the train according to your desired color. So this is our output. In a clean sheet of paper, we need to write our name, grade and section, and then write what have I learned? So for what have I learned, you need to list down the things that you do after you share your skills, talents, and interests to your household members. At the bottom of the bin paper, we need to include this activity. Share your thoughts and feelings. You need to write the train and in each compartment, you need to write how will you improve your skills, talents, and interests. And then, color the train. So this is our fourth output for homeroom guidance, quarter three, week one, until week two. So that's all for today. I hope this helps you. And I hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.